Hello guys, welcome to Mega Coaster Review. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an analysis on Steel Vengeance. And I know you guys are probably like, well, that came out in August, it's November now, what the heck, why are you just now doing this? And that is because I have had a lot to do uh, with this YouTube channel and outside of uh, this YouTube channel. So I've been trying to upload a lot of videos and I'm finally getting to doing analysis uh, on roller coasters and um, doing some reviews on roller coasters and reviews on parks. I'm doing all these videos that usually during the summer I'm not going to be able to do because I'm going to be trying to upload park walkthroughs, vlogs, and all that stuff. So during the off season, you're going to see me do a lot of reviews. Hopefully I'm trying to get to around 20 to 30 coasters that I've written this year, uh, reviews on them. Uh, so I'm sorry that I haven't been able to get around to a lot of these type videos, but I'm going to be starting to do that. Uh, today we're going to be watching a couple of clips uh, that Steel Vengeance has been, uh, that Cedar Point released on Steel Vengeance. Um, and the first I want to, um, as you guys can see, I'm playing the, uh, the trailer, I guess, what you want to call, um, behind this. I know I don't have the sound on, that's because, uh, this is just, like, the video part, and I'm trying to talk over it, so it'd be kind of loud. Uh, but if you actually want to go watch it, go check out Cedar Point, and they have the, uh, actual trailer up out there, so their YouTube channel, um, has the actual video if you want to watch it. But I want to discuss the theming of this roller coaster. Um, this coaster has a great theme. Uh, it is fantastic, uh, a lot compared to obviously what other uh, attractions at Cedar Point have been. This is definitely a great theme. Uh, I really like how it's kind of like a battle between Maverick and Steel Vengeance, because in the reality, when this coaster opens, it's going to be a battle between Steel Vengeance and Maverick, so it fits the storyline perfectly. Um, it's just really, really clever of Cedar Point to do this. Uh, you don't really see parks ever do this where they compare two coasters. A lot of times, you know, they're just like, we just have good coasters, you know, it's just a good coaster, you know, we don't, we don't, they don't really talk about, well, you know, I think this is the best coaster in the park. You don't usually hear talk, parks talk about what coaster they think is the best, and it's really cool that they actually, the whole storyline of the coaster is that uh, these three uh, kind of like saviors or heroes, if you will, are trying to defeat Maverick uh, because Maverick has taken over Frontier Town, and um, they're trying to take it back, so they build an awesome machine, which is Steel Vengeance, and... Um, they're trying to just stop Maverick from his reign of Frontier Town, so that's really, really clever of them. Fantastic, fantastic idea, and I have to, I got, I got to give it to Cedar Point on this theme. I mean, it's so out of the box. It's not been done by anyone ever. You never, you never heard of this theme of another. I mean, this is just so clever, and I really, really, really like it. So, I'm definitely giving uh, Cedar Point a great, um, great. Uh, review on their uh, theme for this coaster. I definitely like the theme. So now as you guys can see, I'm pulling up the POV for this coaster, and we're going to watch this together, and I want to really uh, go into depth on how I like this coaster's uh, stats and what's going on on this coaster. So here, let's let's watch it. So as you can see now, it is um, coming out of the station, and it's ascending the lift hill. As you can see, the left kind of, if you just saw, we saw Maverick. Uh, so I, I kind of like what... Uh, I think this is Planet Coaster that they're using where you actually, they built the entire park so it's just like you're in the park right now. Uh, you feel like you're in an animated version of Cedar Point, so that's really cool. I really, really do um, feel this might be the best coaster Cedar Point. Uh, I know there's going to be some competition between Maverick this and Millennium Force for some people. For me, Maverick's my favorite coaster there, and I don't know, it's going to be a close battle, but I think this might come out victorious for my favorite coaster at Cedar Point. So now we are ascending the lift hill. And we are heading down. There we go. Oh my god. 90 degree drop. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. This airtime hill right there looks fantastic. Uh, now we have this massive airtime hill, um, which looks really good. Uh, now we have like this really cool airtime hill, uh, almost slanted. Um, and I love how this has some bunny airtime hills. And there's the, uh, inver the first inversion. Um, and I really love these uh, tur bank turns and... Uh, wave turns they have on this other inversion. This coaster, as you can see, is going so fast and so forceful and so powerful. And this is... Oh, I hate that brake run. really do. I don't like that brake run at all. So then we have, like, another drop, which looks really good. Um, we have some more like, bunny airtime hills. And then we have another slanted airtime hill, kind of, which I really like. I really like how that, this coaster is doing that a lot. Then we have an almost inversion, which is kind of like a huge bank turn. It's an almost inversion. Then we had some, some more bunny airtime hills. And this coaster, as you guys can see, is just is just going. It's just hauling tail. It is just going so fast, and I really like this. 
about this coaster. It's it looks fantastic. I mean, and this coaster is so long. It's just so long, and it's awesome. I mean, I mean, being on this coaster is gonna feel like you're on there for like four and a half hours. It's just fantastic. And that is Steel Vengeance, guys. Um, final thoughts. Let me give you my final thoughts before you know we um, end this uh, video. Is it overhyped? Mm, no, I don't think it's overhyped. Um, and if people out there think it's overhyped, I can see where you're coming from. I mean, people are making Instagrams about this coaster. People are really talking about this coaster a lot. But is that a bad thing? Do you think that's a bad thing? No, I mean, I'm a coaster enthusiast. I'm obsessed with roller coasters. Um, so I'm obsessed with coasters that are going to be the best at a park that is uh, one of the best in the world. So if a coaster's coming and it's going to be the best at a park that has some of the greatest coasters in the world. That is a big deal, and I think it needs to be talked about a lot and pub um, pl publicized. Uh, it needs to be, has a lot of publicity. It needs to have that publicity just because it's a fantastic roller coaster. So I don't think that this is a bad thing. I don't think it's being overhyped. Um, I don't think a roller coaster can be overhyped unless people are like, I mean, there's, and re coaster enthusiasts make like funny remarks and stuff like, you know, I'm sexually attracted to this coaster or I love this guy, I want to marry this guy, so, you know, that's kind of like jokes, so when people say, like, well, there's people talking about them having a sexual relationship with the coaster, yeah, it's a joke, I mean, I mean, it's a joke, so don't take them too seriously when they say stuff like that, so, um, you know, this coaster is just fantastic, it deserves the hype it's getting, uh, and I think in the end, it, it might be one of the best in the world, it probably is going to be the best, one of the best in the world, I'm not going to say it's going to be the best, because I don't think... I mean, this coaster is going to have to top Fury. It's going to have to top a lot of good coasters out there. And I don't know if the Golden Ticket Awards is going to give it to it that early. Uh, even though I don't, like, judge the Golden Ticket. I don't, like, really, like, not judge, but I don't really, like, follow what the Golden Ticket Awards says. Like, I'm not like, well, the Golden Ticket Awards says Fury is the best coaster, so it is. I think it is, but if, if I rode another roller coaster and then thought it was the best, I would not say that uh, the Golden Ticket Awards was right or wrong or whatever. I don't really listen to the Golden Ticket Awards, but I do respect some of their... Uh, decisions, and I don't think that Steel Vengeance will become the number one in the world that quickly. It might make its way there, and honestly, I don't think it will be the best in the world, but will it be the best at Cedar Point? Yes. Um, I think so. I really do. Maverick and that are going to have a tough time, but I think it will end up being the best roller coaster at Cedar Point. Uh, like I said, I don't know about the best in the world. I'm not going to make any th opinions or remarks on that yet until I ride it, but I do, I think I can make the uh, remark that it will probably end up being the best at Cedar Point. Uh, it's going to be really tough, really hard, but I think it'll make its way through the best in the world. I mean, to, uh, the best at Cedar Point, not the best in the world. Um, so that's about it for this analysis. Do you like these analyses? I did one of uh, Twisted Timbers as well, if you want to go check that one out. Um, I will continue to do these more. I might do them on the newer coasters coming for 2018 and uh, in the future, 2019, 2020. As long as the coaster season, uh, the coaster, um, as long as I'm a coaster enthusiast and there's new coasters coming out, which there will be every year, at least one coaster coming out, I will do analysis, uh, now, analyze these coasters. So, um, uh, that's about it for now, guys. When you think Thrill Sync Mega Coaster Review, and I will see you guys very, very soon.